Now then, welcome back to the Quake Pro League as we continue on with week three of stage two. We've already had some pretty exciting matchups, but now we move into something a little bit more spicy. The Battle of the North Americans as it is time for Dramas versus the Hangdan. Yeah. That's three Ds all in a row. What's the first D? Well, Dramas to Hang Dan. All oh, right, that Dan, yeah. Yeah, uh, that's your name. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> a little bit slow today. But out of, uh, but out of uh, the hang on Dramas, so, yeah, I think as we said, it'd be quite an interesting game. I expect to uh, Dramas to come out all guns blazing mm -hmm. uh, and to hang to soak it up and give like it a, back. Like a, what, like a towel? Or like More a, like a J cloth. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's reusable. Or, uh, or one of those, you know, extra spicy, I don't know. Something spicy like cloths. Spicy cloths. But uh, anyway, yeah, I, I, expect, I expect quite an interesting back and forth as Dramas. And I'm interested to see if Dramas can, as we said, refine that play even further. Right. Uh, and adjust his tempo to meet the ha what the Hang has to offer. Nevertheless, he has some really great combat skill and takes some interesting fights. Um, I was watching, I think it was uh, Giants versus Rafa, or probably on the other day, and it was um, he was getting some pretty close results. So definitely somebody to be feared. I'd almost say at this point, it feels like Dramas is starting to hit the peak that he, he can hit. He's starting to reach the heights that we kind of want to see from him. Because in terms of his mindset and the way that he, you know, has his game sense or fights, he's very smart. Like, he, he won't approach it if he feels like it's too low of a percentage he is going to yep. win, right? It's quite calculated in the way that he takes things on the server. Yes. And he has the aim to back it up. So it, it's the win-win combo. And that's why it's slightly different to the way we saw Genic in the first two maps. And that Genic was quite high risk, low reward a lot of the times, mm. where... As, as you said, uh, the calculation in Dramas' play is, yes, it's, it's yo -yo YOLO, yes, it's high risk, but if he, if he gets away with it, it is a higher reward play. Oh, yeah. And so it's a much more calculated, calculated aggression, kind of like a, an old school Avic or someone like that, who is really push aggression, but when it come, when it pays off, then he gets map, map control and he can suffocate you from there on in. Yeah, it's it's wonderful to witness, but someone else that is wonderful on the server, of course, I'm talking about Dahang. Now, you'll all know the name, you'll all know the skills that he provides, the accountant, he really has the skills to pay the bills, Dan. He does. He's a legend of the series, and he just does everything so well. Has a very methodical play style, but also can pick up the pace, be super aggressive, and has the combat skill to back up his claims as well. So he ain't no slug when it comes to playing. No. The aim that he packs as well, a hidden talent that can do so much for him, incredibly precise. No matter the rocket, matter the rail, if it's a lightning gun, it, it doesn't matter. As long as he has some kind of tool of destruction in his hands, he is going to succeed with and it. And I think because Dahang isn't one of those flashy players like a Cypher or a Toxic, mm -hmm. he gets, again, slightly underestimated when it comes to his fighting capabilities. He's got an exceptional rail, uh, and his tracking is, is also very, very good. And so when he plays that perfect timing, great positioning, and it just pushes in, he can do some incredible damage, and that's why he's been one of the most successful players we've seen. Yeah, well, that's hopefully why we'll get to see a little bit more of that tonight as well. It's also the question of curiosity if Tramis will be able to push him and test his skills, but let's see if that'll be affected by the picks and bans, as we do have the veto coming through. Are the champion picks going to skew your vision on this one, Dan? I like the picks. Uh, Ruins is a map that to hang actually used to pick himself quite a long time ago, taking out the uh, the Strogon Pika first one of the day. Obviously, mm -hmm. it's, it's been a champion in recent weeks that's ro risen through the meta to be one of the most popular ones. Um, and the hang plays that type of crouch sliding extremely well, but so does Dramis. And so we see crouch slide on crouch slide. And for once, with Slash, Dramis can take the tempo to the hang. So that's going to be a really interesting game. Uh, our first Veil of the day. Good, good matchups for the Ranger and the Galena. I like the Ranger on this map because obviously with the split levels, you can use the orb to great effect, but at the right. same time, those totems are extremely potent. Particularly, and on this map, there are some really good choke points to set them up on. So, to hang <coughs> going into the last map, picking the, the Visor uh, up against the Doomslayer. Two of the, the meta champions on this map, the Doomslayer able to control that mid ground particularly well. Uh, him and the Knicks with those wall jumping and double jumping abilities respectively. Whereas Visor is extremely good because there's accessible vials throughout the map. And that's one of the problems with playing Doomslayer relative to Knicks is that you're not going to be using 
your Berserk anywhere near as much as you're going to be using the Ghost Walkers. So it definitely comes down to trying to prevent the uptake of those vials from the visor to make mm. sure you keep um, the piercing sight on as much downtime as possible. Whereas on the Nyx, you're going to be using the, the Ghost Walk far more regularly, and so you're going to be reusing those vials a lot more. And so it is a big watch out for me is that can Dramis overcome that deficiency in some capacity? I'm also curious as well, opening up over on Ruins, it's it's a bit of an interesting one because the two champs we do have coming through with Slash and with Strog and Pika, it's you've kind of got the champion that, you know, if you had to you had to say Dahang is just gonna come in and be absolutely comfortable, essentially he could be playing from a hot tub right now, be so relaxed. That's gonna be him on Strog. He knows how to play it to such a high level. Yep. It's been slightly buffed as well as what we've seen with the increased popularity going on since stage one of the position we're now in where it's getting more and more into the meta. It's lovely to witness. Right. However, Slash you never really want to, you know, put your nose up at her. She can Not really be quite a mean machine. And and Slash is one of those champions that the Hang and, and Toxic really brought through to the meta in the early stages of the game. And so, the Hang definitely knows what to expect out of a out of a Slash. And that's some great opening lightning gun there. Nevertheless, Slash is one of the few champions that can get the get away relative to Sora Pika, but the Hang not letting him do that. No. A nice chase, a good opening frag, just a mere 30 seconds into the game, and already a heavy going the way of De Hang. Luckily, they will split one for one on the major items as Dramas will find himself the Mega to play with. And the warning shots come back across from De Hang. Yeah, De Hang, realizing he's done enough damage, backs off to pick up that light armor and reset prior to the next heavy. The major items are relatively synced here, so. Is a good opportunity for Dramis to get onto at least one of them. Dahang needs to make a play to try and isolate Dramis and picks up the Mega. 2 0 already. It's been pretty well paced so far for Dahang, and he's looking like he is starting to really get into the swing of things with some high octane action. Near miss on the rail, but he chases Dramis. He looks like he is actually quite hungry to get a pretty big early game lead here, or. Oh. That could have been absolutely sickening if the rail shot would have landed from that distance. But all that chasing means he does let Dramis slip onto the heavy. Dramis forced to pop his ability there to get away extra quick. And also potentially able to get up here in a good position for the Mega. Perfect lightning gun coming out and he takes out Dahang. As you said, Dahang was hungry for the hunt there. And it was too much this time. Some great rails coming out from Dramis. This is big. We've got a game on our hands here. 2-2. It's tied up. Both of them looking like they really have the confidence to go toe-to-toe -to -toe in the middle of a cell. Dramis backing off as he's low on HP, though. Wow. Needs to up the stack. Gets the fadeaway shot as well. He is breezing around the map. Good use of the Pika there, doing some great damage from the hang. It's particularly hard to take out that Pika with the Lightning Gun, and so if you do use it at the right time, you can get some nice damage, but... Dramis does enough to get away, restack, and kill the Hang, taking the lead for the first time this map. Dramis caught wind of his opponent there, not really given any opportunities to hang. He doesn't want to show any skin, leave himself revealed and open, susceptible to an attack to give Dramis the early game advantage. Instead, though, that's going to be the concede of the major item there. Mega goes the way of Dramis. Is he caught wind of this? He suspects it. He goes back around the corner. The hang, trying to play it safe, stay hidden. Instead, gets found out and gets left laid out on the ground. Great play from Dramis. Just playing nice and methodical. Not overcommitting, just hunting out the hang. Knowing now that he's got a good split on these major items, so he can quite easily get to both without any rocket jumping to take away his stack. Can easily secure this, can take out. Make sure the whole area is secure before he pushes in. And does enough to get a kill. That's really beautiful. The double rail calculated so well, knowing that the hang was close to death and then finishes in with the up-close yeah. rocket. It was good execution from... Nice! Oh. Yeah, it was really good execution from Dramis because the hang actually pushed in, realizing that... The, uh, sorry, that Dramis had poor weapon choice, but the fact that he had that second rail was what got him the frag. So if he missed that, he could have been in trouble. Dramis. He is just amped up right now as he's charging in, fight after fight. He's willing to take so many confrontations, and they're all working out in his favor. It's 7-2. to two. He's still got pretty much dominance over the major items as well. 
This is not looking great right now for De Hang. And this is where we see the power of the Slash's movement coming into play, that Drambus is able to suffocate De Hang off the map. He's gonna get away with another kill here. Just prior to the Megas, we can restack and leaves the hang with absolutely nothing to his name. This timing from Dramis, or perhaps not realizing the hang would be as ballsy as he was to take that Mega away. We're nearly at the halfway point. Six Frags is quite a lot, particularly when you're trying to chase a slasher on you. Oh, yeah. But the hang now has control, so this is, the, this is now Dramis' time to show us how can you defend, my friend. a little bit spooked as the warning shots come across the hang wants nice. to dive and try and get the mega but it's instantly cancelled out as he takes a rocket between the lips he has to get away now he shouldn't really be sticking around here jumping straight back in they're gonna fight over the heavy good early opener coming through but it won't matter dramas even though we got the initiation into the fight the hang was able to capitalize and close it down Ooh. Nice. And this is the problem. It's the follow up after follow up after follow up. It was a slight overcommittal from Dramas to stick around on that heavy armor. He really didn't need to after taking that initial rail, which was a crucial rail from the hang. Thought we had enough time to set up and protect it, but just not enough. And now the hang is pushing in potentially for another kill. Wow. wow. Okay. That's quite a distance. That is beautiful. The javelin rail being launched out there by De Hang as he spears Dramis down. We might have just hit the halfway point, but De Hang, he is clawing back in pretty quick succession. He's getting this game pretty close now as he starts to trace his way along, expecting Dramis's every move. Absolutely. Should expect here that. Once this heavy is taken away, we see an ultra aggressive to hang. Just making sure he's securing both sides of the item. Doesn't take any major damage there, which does signal that he can push in. Eight seconds until the mega. Both of them are gonna fight over it. The timing's so not early. great for Dramis. Oh, he needs to invest in a watch down. He really does. That was again, there's two unnecessary deaths here that have costed Dramis quite a lot. Needs to be getting on the uh, the lighter armors. Doesn't need to be pushing in for these heavies just yet. One second to the heavies up. He was on it, but it doesn't matter. It spawns in just as it goes across. It could have been the difference of life or death instead. It's a further frag for Dehang. Another heavy stolen that keeps him alive in the fight. And he's now one frag away from equalizing this. Eight to eight. This yeah. is the most close we've had a game over the course of the day. And this is where we're seeing that. YOLO playstyle coming into play here, where Dramis is all or nothing plays. As you said, if he got that heavy, he would have survived and potentially killed the Hang. But now he's given it away, it's been tied up, and the Hang is healthy as ever. Ooh. The LG coming across wow. the rail, though, is going to be the stamp of the Hang right onto his lifeless corpse as they go 9 to 8. We can see Dehang's great mechanical skill coming out here. As we said, he's not particularly flashy, but he does what he needs to. He hits the crucial shots, and that is what counts in this game so far. Dramis again very early, has to get out of there if he wants to survive. He can't take the heavy. It will be going the way of Dehang, and it's keeping him in such a great position of his stack. He's willing to take so many fights because of it. The trail will detonate, but it's not going to do anything. It won't slow him down. Pika comes through. Pika boo as it hits him in the face. And here comes the push from Dehang. Mega snatched away. He wants the frag. If he would have hit that, it would have just been ridiculous. Luckily, Dramis escapes for the meantime. Dramis needs to get a handle on what's going on right now because he's consistently being too early for these major items and not doing any damage in and around the map prior to those confrontations. So the hang is just balling in there, full stack, no fear. And so there's nothing really zoning the hang away. This is much better though. He's in a strong position. The hang's in a choke point. He cannot push in here. Rockets coming whizzing round, but it will be the LG that should leave a mark. Instead, though, Dramis, rapid on the escape. Yeah. There is a chance now that Dramis could be able to pick up this heavy, and De Hang is just going to camp it out because he knows he doesn't need to take any unnecessary risk with only one minute remaining. Good use of the zoning peeker. A lot of damage done there, really. 
That's what's worrying, is there's only 60 seconds left, and there's just a single frag between them both, nice. and this is the worrying factor. Now they tie it up, it's 9-9 nine, nine apiece, this could very easily go to sudden death he's unless found someone finds a frag, they're straight back in, they want the fight, he is bloodthirsty, Dan, and he's going to claim it as well, 10-9 to nine in the last 40 seconds. And he's spawned, he's, no, oh, he's not going to get it, surely he could chain it together here, oh, he gets him so low, he's going to kill the hang, 11-9, to nine, Tramis, where has this come from? All he needs to do is just get this light armor and push onto the Mega, but to hang with the spawn to pressure him away. Dramis, is he going to go for it? I think he is. He should get the temp kill here. He misses it, Dan. There's so little time left, and he's not going to be able to find the Bye. frag. He goes down to the peaker, but you've only got 15 seconds. Da Hang needs to initiate a fight right spawned. here, right now. He takes the wrong turn, though. With eight seconds left on the clock, he's not going to find him. He knows where he is. Can he get there in three seconds? No, he's gone. Oh, the escape through the portal. Dramus. Oh, how has he been able to bring that back? That was incredible. We saw the kind of, you know, the dichotomy of at play style. Mm. And two or three moments of critical misses, two early timings, costing him what would have been the map. And then one amazing take steal of that mega armor. The push in through the choke point, taking the hangout. High risk, high reward, as we said. Ah, it's just crazy. The fact that it was over such a tight period of time and it was brought back to such a ridiculous extent with going up to 11 frags, madness. I want every game to be like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. That would be beautiful if we That was uh, high-octane, good, 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 good dueling. Oh, yeah. It, it was a lot more aggressive, especially from Dahang as well, being so commanding in the early games and then the resurgence for it to be tight. Yeah. And then that being the finisher. It's, there was that kind of th three or four minute period in the middle where Hang felt like he had a true stranglehold on the game. Dramas was doing what he thought he could to, to, to wrangle that control off of Hang, And that's what these, these strong attacks on the major items were meant to do. He just wasn't executing enough because his timing was slightly off, his stack wasn't high enough, and he wasn't doing enough damage outside of the major item fights. However, once he got that one really great steal up on the Mega and was able to pressure the Hang out, he just kept the momentum up, picked up the pace, and from there on out, the Hang didn't know what to do. Especially for this to have been the Strog and Pika coming out from the Hang, it just felt like he was basically getting schooled on the movement that came out from Jamis in the last few moments of the game. It was beautiful stuff. Both of them, though, precise. They look crisp. Yeah. And this bodes well for the series, because this is only the first map. If they can maintain this, bring this forward into map two as well, we're going to have a really close series on our hands. And as you said, I think the Slash was, a, in hindsight, a genius pick against the, the Stroker Pika, because you can keep up with the tempo. You can even raise the tempo. And then when he was raising the temper, the, the hang didn't know what it looked like he wouldn't know what he to do. So, yeah, it was exceptional from Dramis. Banworthy, I would say. Oh, yeah. He had his head screwed on very tightly in the way he wanted to approach the game. And there was key moments, even like this, where Dehang was able to find himself close and start to whittle his way back in when he got that seventh frag. Yeah. Literally the difference a millisecond makes as he pushed his way past over the heavy or... I mean, who knows? Dramas could have been leading for a little bit longer. You can see the difference here with these two players compared to what Genic was doing. And it, it might seem very similar to perhaps a, a new observer to the game, but the fact is both of these players, when they were making their, their big pushes into these major items, even if they came off worse, mm. they were doing so much damage that the follow-up wasn't there from their opponent, meaning they can get that foothold back onto the map. Yeah, just completely forced them out, leaving them feeling so awkward exactly. in a lot of the fights. It was the sustained damage as well that was being done the entire time, where if they had an opportunity to prod at someone and just strip anything they had found, be it even just a light, they would. They'd tear it away. I mean, the amount of rails that we saw just from what, miles apart yep. was still hitting. It was it was really quite wonderful to watch. Yeah, and, and, it's, and because of that, there wasn't any real big suffocation on the map. There wasn't any weapon denial. It was It was quite an even contest the whole way through. Oh, that fight. It's time for the second map here. As we try and reset ourselves a little bit to see how this one is going to go. We slide back in. A lot closer angles here, a lot more awkward. And already, it seems like they're going to start getting themselves into a scrap. Dramis tries to escape, doesn't fancy the initial fight, just 10 seconds in. Instead, wants to add to his stack and grab himself a lightning gun. Yeah, Vale, being a, I would say, slightly smaller map in the, in the way it feels to play and the dynamics that the, the map goes. Those totems can come a real big pain when you get three in quite a small confined area. Time to whittle them down. Oh, and there was a Dahang, and now there isn't a Dahang. That's really rough. A little bit. That's a bit disgusting, but um, 
you know, I don't know, I don't know if that one's allowed on Twitch, but he's done it anyway, madman. <laughs> As he takes him down, that's the opening frag from Dramus established, and yeah. And that's another great use of the totems there. Just, just as you get out of the teleporter, want to meet you, to greet you. But Dramus keeping up good pressure, locking to hang into that back room here, meaning he should get a very easy, clean, heavy armor. Ooh. Prediction with the rail was nice as well. Unfortunately, it was the execution that let him down slightly, just barely missing the shot as he won't connect it. It doesn't do more damage to establish dominance over the hang here. The awkward firefighters, they're both shooting up and down the vertical shot. It's not working out too nicely. Dram's expecting him to come back through the portal, which he will. And here comes a bit of chase again. The hang just weaseling away. Lock. And there we can see, as we said, the area of denial for the totems, meaning Dramis is unable to get up there without taking the totem to the face. Ooh, one goes down as well in quite nice. a sneaky position. He might not spot that out, but luckily he isn't going to take any extra damage from it. But he still finds himself the second frag. The flick was beautiful. Unfortunately, it just doesn't quite connect there with the rail. So many sustained fights as well. The close quarters combat is truly being tested between the two. The rocket lands. Oh, not again. How is he doing that? It's the most oh, offensive no ranger way. I feel like I've ever seen. See, yeah, the hang is, is understanding the situation well, but mm. the hang, oh, sorry, Dramus's defense execution right there is spot on. Doing so much damage in such a short period of time. The hang had a decent stack going up that jump pad. All he needed to do was connect with one rail. The hang, not being able to get too many of those totems down. I think he might have two in play right now, though. That's one of them gone, as it will be able to be quite a nuisance maker as he turns the corner. Drama's taking damage from that. Oh, slightly delayed on the tracing, though, from the LG. Not able to find the shots that he so dearly needs. Starts to back off. Restocks himself with the arm. No, but what? Ooh. Wow. All right, Dahang, that was really accurate. What Dahang is doing exceptionally well is controlling the high ground. Mm. He's not letting Dramus get, even though Dramus is the one with the bigger stack, he's not letting Dramus get the position and advantage because if that happened, then Dahang would be completely cut out of the map. And so maintaining that high ground is forcing Dramus to make, take these slightly riskier plays, such as that Dire Orb up to the, the Mega Health, meaning Dahang has always got the opportunity to hit the opening shot. The yeah, burst of the tri bolt popping right in front of his eyes as a lot of damage is being transferred across. Dramis. So Dramis needs to make a much more conscious effort to try and get a stranglehold of that top level because if he doesn't, this is going to happen all day. To hang now with a massive stack. Dramis just needs to run and run quick. Oh, the chase coming back around. They're going to have a close quarter scrap, but once again, it will go the way of the hang. That's now only one frag away from equalizing the situation at four apiece. And it's the difference of how he's opting to use his totems as well. You can use them to try and obviously go for the overstack if you want to squirrel them away. But instead, he's been very offensive with them and been yeah. using them for the information. And Dramus has walked into them a good four or five times now. Exactly. And Dramus' only movement capabilities is are the die roll or rocket jump. And you don't really want to do either because the die roll should either be a get out card or or a really aggressive finishing move. So being forced to use it to get into position is giving the hang a big advantage in these fights. Yeah, it's setting him up so nicely in a lot of these rounds. And so as you said, as he is using his totems offensively, they're causing Dramis such a headache. Tribolt in play to hang with a fadeaway, hoping they're going to connect. He's still one frag down. But it doesn't matter. As long as he can try and maintain the control that he's really got going for himself right now, he should be able to slip back in. The rockets are coming down, raining the splash damage through. No real connection, just a small bit of damage done. Here's the fight that should go his way, though, as the LG comes out to slay. He's actually forced off. He's only got 36 HP left on his stack. He needs to get out of there and reheal over at the totem. Now, Dramis is back in control. Ooh. Unfortunate not to get the final killing blow there. Oh. And somehow the hang pulls one out. That is sick. Really beautiful shots coming through. That also means that he gets the heavy to start to bolster himself back up. So he's going to be happy with this. 
More rails being spammed out as he's looking to try and connect it from quite a distance. Using it like a shotgun in close range, Dan. And we see the fine margins that these players are playing at as nice rail coming out. Can he get the finishing shot though? He doesn't he can't come out through the teleporter. It'll almost be certain death. And he knows that, so he backs off again. Ooh, they've got distance between them. The open ground, the hang, confident as ever. Goes for the leap of faith, gets himself the heavy to work with, trying to find a pixel angle to really deal some damage with a rail. But he's not given too many opportunities. He's got four rockets left. Let's see if they're going to be the most punishing, or if instead it will be the frightening heights as he tries to go for the lightning fight. What? That's the third one. How is he doing this? Boy, he's the king of the die roll. It's absolutely bizarre. And he's been able to really tie the scoreline back up as well. LG's coming out to punish. Nice. Oh, the rail combo. That was disgusting. Smooth moves. Straight back in as well. No signs of slowing down. They never miss a beat right now as they really want to try and take every available fight. Dramis for once, worse for wear. But the rails could strip straight through to Hank. He's going to get the kill. So confident with Whoa. like 40 HP. He swings wide and leaves him lifeless. But at the same time, you can see the issue that the Hang pro poses Dramis by taking that position advantage. Dramis took so much Ooh. damage to get up there. And every time the Hang, even when he dies, he's leaving Dramis so low that he's just pushing in. Oh, both of them on oh, like 10 HP or a maximum. Luckily, to hang faster on the draw when it comes to this Mexican standoff, he will get the kill. Punishing with that LG. I'm really enjoying seeing the hangs almost perfect calculation of when to push and when not to push. That there's been three or four times where he's died and just straight off the spawn. He's got a weapon and gone because he's understood the situation correctly. He knows the item timings perfectly, and so he knows exactly when he can be pushing. It's also the gravity of the situation now as well. He's going to be realizing just how much time is looming over his head as it gets smaller and smaller, leaving him less and less margin for oh, error. Oh, that's cheeky. He's nutmegged him. <laughs> that's exactly it. <laughs> oh, again, another close quarters kerfuffle. Not really too much damage done, but the rail follow-up is going to give him a whole lot more stock into this fight. And he seems confident to try and fully commit to it, although what? it doesn't matter! It's a trade kill! And we reset. Who's going to get the more fortunate spawn? And it is potentially the hang. It definitely is the hang, as he should be able to pick up both major items and get all the weapons he needs now. The one thing he doesn't have though. is the rail, but that is all that Dramis has to play for at the minute. At the very least, the hourglasses could save his bacon a little bit. Yeah. To hang, really camping this rocket launcher as he knows it's the one thing that Dramus needs, and he does manage to get away, but he doesn't. All right, well, the Dire Orb didn't work out exactly the way he wanted it to. Tried to use it for the escape, still got railed one from minute, pretty minute. much a big distance, though. The rear crash comes back through. Dramis, he can't afford to go down here. That would equalize it, leaving him at eight apiece, and he does falter, broken by the shots coming through from the hang. Yeah, that was so clever from the hang. It was absolutely perfect play. Playing the rocket launcher area, knowing once again, what does his opponent have? What does he need? He needs the rocket. And so the hang camping out there because he didn't, A, because he didn't have the rail and B, because it's what his opponent needed. Caught him blindsided. Ooh, the drop down, the hang gets the rail shot off. This is gonna punish and start to strip that stack that is building off of Dramis. Yeah, but playing the basics again. He could have pushed in, but there's a really good chance that Dramis would have hit one or two rails. And even if he died, would have probably been able to follow up and take map control. So Dahang, knowing what the circumstances are, pushes back, make sure he collects the major items. There's no need to rush them. Just take the extra time. It's probably the smart move to go for. He's squirreled away, and he's going to opt so to try and take this into sudden death. One frag is all that matters now. Whoever gets the next kill will be able to take it. Dramas getting lower and lower as time goes by. You can see the paranoia oh, kicking in. No. Oh, the step out. One wrong move, and his shoes get blown off. That was a great game. That was good. Both of them played exceptionally well. And the last couple of minutes from the hang there just showed why he is respected as one of the best players. Yeah. This is so nice to witness as well, though, between these two, especially to see sort of the rise to fame we're seeing on the path to progression for Dramis. He's looking better and better every match we have. Yep. And for these two to be this close, 
it really speaks volumes about how good both of them are as players. Dramis is a a superstar in the making, honestly. Like his fighting capabilities are second to none. There are very few people I think out there that can match Dramis in a one-on-one -on -one pure combat skill fight. And now he's beginning to show, as we said, that calculated play. There's a few times where he goes slightly too aggressive as it's clear that he's not refined his play as too much. The hang was able to maintain higher positional advantage far too easily. But that's the hang, right? That's what he's known for. And so for Dramis to come out and really could have won the match very, very easily is very impressive to me. Oh, yeah. It, it really does just go to show how much of a legacy that he is starting to build and how much he can build because it's it's still early days, especially just for the Quake Pro League as a whole being in stage two here. There is so much more to come. If he can maintain this level of prowess and also keep adding to it, developing as a character, as a player inside the Quake Pro League, he, he's going to look unstoppable at the end of the season. But Dahang, very, very good stuff, being able to snatch it away with one rocket. That, that was, was all it took in Sun Death. That was crazy. Yeah, but I mean, kudos to both players, really. And I think this is this is the part here where the hang cornered him, trying to pick up the rocket just after he got the frag previously. And then from there on in, it was it was almost just standard play from the hang. Strangled him out of the map, made sure he sat back, picked up the major items, and did what he needed to do. And that final rocket connecting for full damage, just the icing on the cake. Yeah, it was a good way to round us out there for the second map. But that does mean there is still a third and final map, the decider between the two of these demigods on the server now to come up because they have split the series 1-1 apiece. The first time we've really actually had a proper 1-1 over the course of the day, I think. And it was, you couldn't really see a closer 1-1 than just we've just had. Mm. So if the third map lives up to it, that's going to be, should have been our pick of the day, really. Yeah, I know. We, so we've far, missed the trick on that one. A this, this was definitely a uh, an exciting one to have. It's It's been exhilarating so far, and I can only hope that happens here on the third and final map as well as a decider i think it will yeah dramas is looking on form and the hang is playing the hang is playing well there's no doubt about it mm. and all credit to dramas for taking it right to the wire for that map and it, it could have really been quite easily a 2-0 oh yeah and that would have been ridiculous as well especially that oh, position yeah. with like where the hang currently is in the rankings if you're able to steal this many points away from him it's going to be huge not only for your confidence but purely just the standings as well because it means it's a week where he stagnates a little bit he doesn't push himself further up sure he isn't going to fall down because he's really up there in the upper echelon sure, it's yeah. going to be hard to knock him off right but as a player for dramas this would have been huge yeah and uh, I, there's no reason why forthcoming events that we shouldn't see Dramis right up there competing for, you know, even winning it. Mm. I mean, if he can maintain this and keep going in this fashion, he's going to be looking ridiculous. But there is still a third map to come. Based off of this, I don't feel like there is much to improve from either party. Both of them have had their strengths and weaknesses, and it's been looking really close. Yeah, and if I'm honest, uh, I think I would favour Dramis on this map. I think he Fine. can definitely... <laughs> Definitely make a move, but we'll see. Well, Visor versus Doom. I think is it going to be the vision that helps to hang in this one? And that's exactly it, as we said at the start. Using that ability extra early, knowing that he's he's the only person that needs to pick up the vials at this stage of the game. Again, as we can see, restocking very, very quickly. The one thing he doesn't have at the moment is a rail or the other additional three vials over in that area. So that's one thing for him to be aware of and for Dramis to protect. That's exactly what he's doing, protecting that round, knowing that the hang doesn't have one, but... This is a huge overall fight, a big commit from either party. Necessary commitment, might I add. I think... Dramis expected the hang to continue railing and felt he could catch him off guard, but... The hang with a better weapon choice at the time. At the very least here, he is being starved out being able to wield a rail, although oh, he's going to try and make it. his move back up. The rocket jump doesn't work out for him, though. He's also really running low on stock. He's only got one rocket left in his inventory, so this could get spicy if they fall back into another fight. Dramis yeah. with a better stack as well. Going to have to let Dramis make do with the major item. Probably both of them, as the hang has absolutely nothing to work with. As you said, if he takes a fight, he's pretty much dead. Does well to sneak away and at least get a couple of the light armors. And his ability is now back up, meaning he can check out where Dramis is, and he does immediately. 
Ooh, goes in with the LG. It's a nice initiation to try and deal some damage. Luckily, restocks on the rockets as well, so he still has seven to try and punish with. He can drop down and secure those hourglasses if he wants to, but the rails are coming across. The hang is being punished. The mega is snatched away for Dramis. Oh, he surely should have met his demise. Instead, though, he punches a rocket. <laughs> That's one way to get rid of it. What we saw there from De Hang was a, a perfect example of how you need to be defending on this map. The one thing that Doom has going for him, as we said at the very start of the game, is should be able to get a kill here. Nice rail to keep him away. Yeah, the one thing Doom has going for him is that double jump, which does allow him to maintain perfect control of the catwalk and of the rocket launcher area to get back onto bridge. So De Hang managed to creep up, get himself a couple of armors, and maintain a good position. But now this is the problem, and this is what we said at the very start, is the Hang is able to get onto those vials, and we can see how much uptime he is getting on that piercing site, and so Dramis is never able to catch him off guard. And he's popping it immediately. And the reason, as we said, is Dramis isn't going to be using Berserk. So the Hang can just freely pop it and go around picking up vials for days. Yeah, the control that he can have over the uptime of that active ability is going to be immense if he can maintain it and not be contested. Exactly. And we see now, now because it's not up, he's just going to play defensive. He's going to he's going to listen for sound cues. He's going to keep at distance, try and pick him off a little bit. Should be up in a few seconds and we expect him to use it very, very quickly. And he's got three more vials to fall back on as soon as he does. Well, the rail is going to telegraph his location, but he'll still use it anyway to have the upper exactly. hand into the fight. Because if he pushes into that, he's going to take damage immediately. Ooh, dang, very low now. 74 left on the stack. Gets forced away from those vials, meaning he needs to play a little bit more careful now for 30 seconds, as he just took the ones by the rail slightly earlier, can get across to get onto them, and restock up very quickly. Does need to get himself a light armor and some health, though, just to feel semi-confident in taking the next fight, as Dramas has essentially free reign in the map. But because De Hang has the vision, of vision advantage, he's not too fussed by that at the moment. Uses the vision, knows he's being chased, will realize that he's gone for the escape play instead. Although, here's the shenanigans. Leaps himself back up, wanted to try and get ahead of Dahang and look for the frag. But Dramus, he's been dispatched at this point. He's been able to evade him. Well, this is the power of the visor on this map. The fact is that Dramus has made two or three really smart plays that would have traditionally caught somebody out. But having that piercing sight up just at the right time, has meant that Dramas has been unfortunate to capitalize on it just yet. And the Hang now has a fighting stack and doesn't just doesn't care about the major items, just wants to take these positions and he's doing enough damage to Dramas to keep him away from pushing in. A little boot with a rocket, and this is going to be where the rail that he found as well comes out to play. The distance is going to play to his favor. Doom looking to try and escape as he jumps his oh, way across. Oh, he misses the Mega by oh, 0.5 no. of a second. Did he hear it spawn? I think he did. He's going back for it, he realized. Yeah, he picks it up now. And already, once again, the uptime on this piercing site is absolutely bonkers. I mean, especially when he's getting all of the vials, That's literally for free, every time, it's rough. And even when, it, and if he's not, he's just standing in a position where he has full physical sight on all angles, so he can't be caught off guard. Which means if Stramus pushes in, Dramus is taking damage, son. Five minutes in. Two frags picked up so far. They haven't really been able to fight because the Hang has just been keeping such a good distance between them both. Smart reads, great use of his active. The Visor has exactly. been paying dividends for him. And he's able to sneak a major item every now and then. They're going to run to each other here. Someone's going to die. They have it's to gonna fight be this. Yeah, Blown a bit. Finally a kill picked up. Still though, he needs one more to actually equalize this. And the Hang spawns back in. Yeah, because Jamis is, is caught between a rock and a hard place here because... As we said, the, the uptime on that piercing site means he can't catch him off guard. And so Dramas is taking up these really smart plays, trying to deny the light armors, trying to catch him off with small rocket jumps. But whatever he's doing, the hang is just able to read him because of that vision. And we see the reason why the hang got away with that previously, as we see there, he used his ability. I mean, he's hitting some really good rails. Wow. He's getting Dramas so low at this point. He's just going to be limping his way away. Barely gets out of there with not much stack left to his name. The Hang, if he finds this frag, it would be so huge for him. So many near misses. 
realizing that Dramas has nothing to play with right here, wants to place him down for that kill. That does it particularly well. Is he going to force a spawn? No way, he's way too low. Oh, but Dramas gets the lightning gun spawn. Which means that Dahang might be able to push in, actually do some serious damage here. I mean, it's a tight angle to fight from, but the rail is definitely the weapon that you would want in this scenario. That's also some extra hourglass has picked back up, so he's only got 20 seconds to waste before he has his visor yeah, back available to use. That was the worst spawn for Dramas, really, because he has no weaponry now. So he's in a he's in a very tough spot. Even if he can pick up the item, he's probably going to take some damage for it. Still doesn't have a rail. Don't think he has a rocket either. The hang, that's the one thing he has leverage on and he can try and protect. He does it very well. Nice. This is clean. So many beautiful connections there coming through. As he's an artist with the rail, painting a very pretty picture in blood. Looks to try and capitalize now though. The yeah. aggression is in full swing. Great rail from Dramis. The fact is that Dramis doesn't have a rocket and the hang is trying to put the pressure on, but that rail keeps him at bay. Can he get, get, get a kill? Yes, oh. it can. Okay, two to four. I mean, there's not much time left, but if this is an opportunity for him to try and slip back into the game, there's definitely a chance. For sure. Visor's back up though, the hang. Depending on when he uses that, he can really have a good read and starve out a lot of time, making this incredibly awkward for Dramis in the last two minutes of the game. Yeah, Dramis really, <laughs> oh no, Dramis does need a kill within the next minute for sure if he wants a fighting chance of tying this up at very least i think that that's that's the last major item i think he can afford to take he has to just put the pressure on now the thing is he needs it to be a pretty clean kill as well exactly so it, it is has to be something that's calculated but to hang is not going to move from those lower levels just as he's done all game he's going to use those sound cues he's going to make sure he keeps his vision up as and when he can I think he heard that, so he knows where he is. That's great, Rail. Once again, because he has the ability up. Dramas is in a world of pain now because the hand got that major item. Both of them on the same level. A small connection coming across. Dramas, his HP ball going down lower and lower. Unfortunately, though, he is going to be able to escape. The hand can't capitalize to get a further frag. Dramas can't get anything on the board either to try and give himself a chance into this matchup. He's just being toyed with here. He can't trace, he can't land the shots. He will escape, but it won't matter. He's the one that needs the frags, not the hang. It would have been quite easy for the hang just to say, hey, go take that. Be my friend, I don't need it. But the fact is he got into that strong position and did so much damage, it just set Dramas back once again from preventing him from pushing it. Yeah, I think this basically secures it now. With 30 seconds, he's not going to be able to find the two frags that he needed. Ideally, once we got to eight minutes, he needed a kill per minute. Now it's just pretty much taken out. The way that the hang can control in the tempo, you're never going to find your footing. Absolutely. And we see why Visor is such a sought-after champion because of this game. Can he get a kill just to redeem himself? No. no. But yeah, the, the vision advantage is just nuts when you're playing on this pro level. It's just absolutely nuts because... There was nothing that Dramas could do to catch him off guard. When you're playing someone as smart and as calculated as the hang, and then you give him vision through walls, yeah. what what are you meant to do, right? Like the hang played it perfectly. If the ability if his ability wasn't up, he stayed as safe as he could have been. As soon as he had the ability up, he was popping it and getting into an aggressive position to deal damage. It was such smart play and kind of shows why, in my opinion, Nix is a slightly more effective pick on that map than a a doom even though they give you very similar versatility in, in controlling the mid ground but the way the hang played he just prevented dramas from abusing that fact and it was really all set up from this miscalculation right in the first 30 seconds that gave the hang that advantage from there on in the, the hang just made dramas's life misery yeah. and i felt i genuinely felt sorry for dramas that he did play well he set up some really good traps there was just nothing he could actually physically do well, the thing is, it doesn't matter how well you've been doing in the actual fights and how many shots you've been hitting, if you're physically not able to ever see your opponent because they're just countering everything you do, right? And yeah. I mean, to hang at him basically as a human being kind of has a built-in war hack in the sense where the way he predicts how you're going to move, he's so good at being able to negate that and not taking fights if you don't want to, right? Yep. You then double that up by the fact you give him a war hack. It's not really a good combination for no, anyone. It's, it's kind of, I just felt a little bit sorry for him. I wanted to pet him. Yeah, mm. Cheer him up oh, a bit. Give him a little hug. Yeah, but uh, I mean, to be fair, like we said, like 
that was an insane series of quake. Yeah, both players playing to the peak of their potential. Um, some of the some of the shots Jamis was hitting and the damage his output was crazy. But we saw the best of the hang in that last game. Really adapting to the way that Jamis was playing, knowing that he didn't need to do anything crazy. He did the he did the basics well. Made sure he kept his ability up time. Kept way more emphasis on those time vials than he did any sort of mm. armors or, ma- or, or major items. Um, and made sure he had strong positioning kept him in the game. Well, that was like the extra nuance of control that he had in that game was the hourglasses, right? Yeah, because without that, it, it would have been so much worse for him. He wouldn't have had the, the uptime. Rather than 40 seconds, it was literally basically every 20 seconds, which exactly. and th- there was there was two, as we said, there was two or three really pivotal times where the uptime was just there for him to defend himself and to, to prevent from drama from making a certain play that might have swung the tide of the map. And that was all because of the fact that he had those uptime vials. Yeah. The amount of times he could counter it when Dramas wanted to go for initiation was crazy. We do have stats from this series, though. So let's have a look how things go in terms of the numbers game, Dan. 45% accuracy. I mean, look how, look at the damage. It's it's pretty low relative to <laughs> the fact that there was a, a full 10-minute map compared to most games. Um, but overall, I mean, it's a fairly even... It's a fairly even like heel game, really. The fact that Dramis had a much higher damage output shows that the Hang played more calculated. Um, Dramis is, I mean, you can't really separate them. No, no. The fact the stats really don't have that much between them sort of tells the picture of the series overall. The fact that it was so close, both of them playing very effective on their own maps. The fact that it does go the way of a two-one at this point, it really just comes down for me in my mind of the sudden death again. It it goes back to that right after a ridiculously close map, it was all decided by one rocket because of just sort of really the advanced predictions that we saw from Dehang. That seems to be the edge he's had the entire day. Is when you go into a scenario where both if you're on a level ground, it seems to go his way purely just because of his thought process. His yeah. game sense always gives him an edge. And that, and that's the one defining difference I think we saw throughout that series is that De Hang just had a much more rounded approach to the duel. It was Dramis Dramis had a an exceptional series, but De Hang showed a lot more versatility, I feel. We saw in Ruins he played much more aggressive in your face, and as the series progressed, De Hang began to adapt his play style around Dramis. Uh, when he got to the second game on Vale. He he played far more positional, used those totems really well, used the top level, and then when we got to the final game, just kind of hidden off the map, just played around what Dramis wanted to do. So yeah. it was uh, that's what the strength of the hang is. Well, there's definitely some more strong lads coming up as we have another game tonight. Let's have a look what is going to be going down. It's our fourth game of the night here that will be coming up after the break. As you can see, it's going to be Cooler versus Toxdan. I think that's a game everyone wants to be a part of and everyone wants to watch the fact that. We have Kula, who's potentially one of the, the, the best current players in the world versus oh, yeah. Tox, who, when he's on his day, can be absolutely anybody. Complete legend. Mm. I think Kula right now, obviously, a lot of stock. Everyone's going to be hearing that name more and more. Finally back in the limelight after such a long time. It's it's wonderful to see him pretty much back on top. Can he back it up on the server today versus a Swedish superstar, though? Obviously, that is going to be the uh, the big question. Who's your, your quick favorite on that one? Kula. Kula all the way? I think it's got to be, right? Yeah. You know? I'm, I'm going to say 3-0. Ooh. Bold predictions coming in early. All right. I'll, I'll play devil's advocate for this one. I reckon it's going to be a 2-1. I feel like Tox sneaks in there for, for one map potentially. But all of that is in the future. Right now, we are in the present before we get into a very exciting gem in the wild for our fourth game of the night here on the Quake Pro League. Why don't you take some time to restock yourself, grab something to drink, grab something to eat, and then come back in when we'll slam into a very exciting match after the break.